desire to have these sumptuous meals. Well, they're there, they're still there, but Muslims don't, Muslims don't outstay their welcome. Why, why do you hate humanity so much? You want to see everywhere. You're the one that's calling Britons retards and Nazis. I don't call Brit I don't call them that. Because no one understands God. Mate, I know you're hating on England just because they were colonized by Germanic settlers. Oh yes. The English were not the first people in this country. In. No, no, the no, no. The, the first people in this country were the Celtic Britons. Oh, shut up. Oh, yes. About I'm about to educate now. you now. We're the Celtic about Britons. In the modern the, the Welsh, the Scottish, oh, the Irish. They were here before the English. Then me. the Germanics came. They then me. colonized England. They colonized listening. England. After the Anglo-Saxons, that's when they established you England. This guy's coming history. here. This guy's coming here and saying, English, superior. England, what England? Tell me the reality of England. Germanic settlers, Anglo-Saxons. You know Even the language of I the English it. came from Old English. The Anglo-Saxons imported it in. Yes. And where did that come from? That came from Latin. That came from the European languages. What about and the word like blighty. What about blighty is a Hindi word. Danish. It means the original word is valeti. Yeah. And they say blighty, mate. Blighty. Blighty is yeah, a I Hindi don't know word. About it's a Hindi I don't word. Know anything about Pakistan. Freddie Mercury, Google this. Yes. Right now, Iranian. Google it. Freddie Mercury Iranian. was not born in this country. He was Iranian. One of the greatest pop icons that's of this country. Assimilate. Freddie Mercury, yeah, his name is Farooq. Yeah, oh my god. Farooq. <laughs> his name is Farooq. Google this. Freddie music. Mercury. Freddie Mercury was born in Zanzibar. And, and he came music. to this country. The music that and Freddie then, makes. and then he yes. changed his name to like Freddie. Boris Johnson was, was born in America. You would stone him Cliff to Richard death. was born in India. You would stone the him great to great death. grandfather of the Queen was German. You would throw Don't lecture me about England you would throw and about Freddie English. Off a building. I'm in this country. I respect yeah. England. Yeah. I respect yeah. the English. Yeah. I love this. This is my country. Yeah. But when you come over here and you say England and the English are racist, we're going to vote for reform. And he's saying the English are retarded. The Nazis, no, they're not. The English are loving, kind people. Yeah. Don't disrespect them. However, when we're talking about the history, you have to be accurate. You have to talk about the history and be just to it. Give evidence. Not, oh, I'm feeling angry. I don't know what's in that little cup that he's got. God knows, maybe it's a bit of rum, a bit of vodka, who knows. But point, guys, is make sure you read. Yeah, Become educated, unlike our individual over here. So, what can we do? He was an Indian. Freddy Bakir was an Indian. He's from Zanzibar. His name is Farooq. I think Bolsna. Bolsnara. His name is Farooq, for God's sake. Show some gratitude. Show some gratitude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay, he's all right. 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 I'm ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. St. George. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. St. George is a Palestinian. St. George. Hey, St. George didn't step foot. St. George hasn't stepped foot. In yeah, this the country. Thing about St. George's, he didn't come to England. He was a Palestinian. No, he was Greek. <laughs> <laughs> he was Greek. Such yeah. it up. Yeah. Either Greek. Palestinian Greek. or Turkish. Greek. He Greek. certainly Greek. wasn't from this country yes, and he so certainly didn't step foot country. in this country. Did he slay a dragon? Macedonian Greek. Did <laughs> <laughs> the Greek he didn't slay a dragon. Place, right? He didn't slay a dragon. <laughs> He wasn't from this country, but yet yes, exactly. they're flying the he flags of St. George. St. George, the Palestinian. Like they George, love listening to the music there. of Freddie Mercury, Freddie Mercury, the Zanzibarian. Yes, you and Boris Johnson, room. that was you leading this country, room. the American. You care what listening to the private. music of Cliff Richard, the Indian. Then following the monarchy, 
whose great 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 grandfather was a German. Yeah. Most Muslims are oppressed, homosexual. The German. That's why they, yeah. You know the German? Yeah. 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 You're probably gay. Can you do? You're probably a homosexual. No, but I see that you're projecting. So you must be. No, no, I'm saying. I'm saying <laughs> why are you stuttering? Muslims. I'm not stuttering. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. One second, then you go. Oh, yeah, that's because you're thinking if you're gay or not. Are you bisexual? Are you? <laughs> no, I'm saying, Can you answer the question if you're you gay or not? I want to know. You brought up Are you Eddie gay? Mercury. Are you gay? Absolutely not, obviously. Well, how do? I, what's obvious? From your attire, you insane. look gay. It's insane. You, why is it insane? Because why would you lie with a man? I don't know. Why would you lie with a man? You tell me. Lie with women, it's so well, you don't, but do you believe in God? Only God. Only God. Yeah, but you obviously don't. No, it's good. I rate you for that. You That's the one percent of truth. Yeah. You, That's really the one percent of truth that you said in this whole discussion. Do you really think God supports Islam? Uh, God does. Islam comes from God. Islam means to yes. submit to God. If you submit to God, Muhammad, then you're Muslim. Muhammad. Do you submit to God? Yes, but then you're, you're Muslim. Don't have to say it. You're Muslim. No, no problem. No. You don't have to say anything. I was submitted to God when I was born. <coughs> you're Muslim from you the. You you're Muslim from the birth. Muslims think you can choose. That's the, that's the big error you make. Is there such thing as an ex-Muslim? Yes. Well, they're clearly choosing then, isn't it? I am Hirsi Ali. You're the clearly choosing then, isn't it? You're choosing not to be a Muslim? Yes. And she's still alive? Yes, but people she knows have been stabbed right in front of her. Theo Van Gogh has stabbed to death in front of her. Theo this Van Gogh. religion of peace. Look, Ayan Hirsi Ali is a fraud. Have you even well, read her books? Don't stab him in the... Don't kill him. Who are you talking don't, about? Who? Take the moment, do not murder, yeah? Do not murder. You're right. Do not murder. Why do you keep then, then why everyone? is it? Why is it from David Ames? Why is it? Okay, okay, okay. okay. One second. Relax, relax, relax. Somali, Somali Muslim. Relax, and relax, relax, nothing. relax. From the year zero to 2008, there was a study done to see which religion had committed the most atrocities, the most deaths. Guess who came first with a whopping 178 million? Christianity. Well, that's because it's far, it's far bigger. <laughs> Guess who came number two? It wasn't Islam. And like number three wasn't Islam. Number Islam. four wasn't Islam. Five wasn't Islam. Okay, what about in the last? Islam came number years. six. What about the last? In the last hundred years, years, I'll tell you. Communism and Islam. Way up. <clears throat> Professor Pape has written a book. Yeah, and in there he says, looking at all of the data, before America had, what's the word? colonized or uh, hegemony. yeah it was part of uh, hegemony when they tried to take over Iraq when they bombed Iraq yeah, that was before then before really then corrupt. before then George, there were no suicide bombs Bush is all Mate, just listen to the point there that I'm no saying weapons of mass destruction. yes it was all a bit calm. but the point that you're trying to say yeah, is to before it. then there were no suicide bombings in fact there was a study done by Pew possibly by Gallup <coughs> and they asked the different religious adherents. They asked them, they said, is it okay for you to kill innocent civilians? Yes, in war it is, yes. But with a whopping 89% that the said no. The street stabbing someone. But the religious adherents with the highest number that said, no, you're not, 89%, guess who they were? Muslims. Oh! But they're the only ones going around stabbing. They're the only ones that you're hearing, mate. They slip a priest's throat. They don't. Paris. They don't. They did. Look at look the amount Paris of mass shootings taking place. Oh, yeah. The amount of drone shoot, drone targeting. Daniel Hale, who's a whistleblower in Afghanistan, he said 90% of the drone attacks that have taken place in Afghanistan are done on innocent civilians. Yes, it, and I you know what happened to him? Afghanistan was a complete disaster. Yes, but you know what happened? They admit it. No, but you're missing the point. They don't the po care. Listen. They don't care. Listen. Right? No. They say we're going to do illegal wars and there's nothing Listen to Listen to the do point though. It. When you That's kill the reality. When you when you drop a bomb from a drone, yeah. studies tell us that you're not going to kill everyone. The survivors from that drone strike are going to be pissed. They're going to be radicalized. And then they're gonna come for you. Yeah, you can't you just drop all. bombs. You can't just drop bombs and then think everyone's gonna be okay with you, mate. Don't be so smart, naive. Kill everyone. Well, that's the problem. Do you want them to kill well, everyone? Well, that's the only way they can assure not having. Do you want them to kill everyone then? If I was them, I would. Yes. So you'd commit genocide, yeah? It's not genocide. It's it is when you're wiping. Self-defense. <laughs>
But okay, according to my friend over here, killing all of the Palestinians is self-defense. Yes. This is who we're dealing with. Because if they put down their weapons, the there would be peace, yeah? Okay, if, okay, if okay. If put down their weapons, there would okay, be Okay, 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 listen, listen. Okay. He's made a good point. Their defense is you down. You made a good point. On October the Wait, 7th, yeah? you made a good point. You made a good... Their defense is down. I'm they saying you made a good point. Up forever. Listen, listen, you made a good point. Just finish it. Shh. You made a good point. Finish it. Okay. So he says, let the Palestinians just put down their weapons. Okay. Well, this happened in 2018. The let Palestinians put down their weapons. The Don't take my word them. for it. Don't take Bilal's the word Israel for it. Oh, wait, wait, one second, one second, one second. They were giving them one water. second, let me, let me just finish this point. They were giving them fresh let me finish water. this point. Don't take Bilal's word for it. Don't take Ahmed's word for it. Don't take a Palestinian's word for it. The UN released a report, a 250 page report, single spaced. And they said the Palestinians were demonstrating. They were unarmed. And then what did the Israelis do? Well, even before that, they described the Palestinians well, with another word. One second, one second, one second, one second, one second, one second. They described the Palestinians in a festive mood. Yes. Palestinians were happy. They were celebrating. They did not fence. have and they were not violent. However, the UN report, read this yourself. It was released in 2019. But don't they said the UN Israel, Israel, Israel lined up. Israel lined up its snipers. It lined up its snipers. Everyone and then listen the to this. Jews. It intentionally targeted children. Wow. It intentionally targeted disabled people. Why the BBC it intentionally, the it intentionally the targeted medics. It intentionally targeted journalists. Don't take my word for it. It's the UN report. 2018 google this when you go home it was released in 2019 250 page single spaced document the and then you know what happened no problem no problem this is not good enough for him take haaretz the own newspaper when one when one soldier you know what he was saying he was bragging i have shot at the kneecaps of no less than 50 palestinians haaretz i can show you the screenshot just Google this yourself, it's on her reds. Still hasn't been taken voice. down. Shooting really at the happen. kneecaps, the kneecaps of the people. Why? UN is saying up. deliberately targeting children. Intentionally, deliberately targeting. How sick, how this? twisted, how much, you, you know what? People like this who defend such people should be media? boycotted from society. Do you trust the media? They should be alienated. And they should be outed like this man over here are who is sources? defending such people. Tell me, do you, you defend, do you defend? I'm telling you, the UN report itself. You trust the UN? Then who do you tell me? I will give you a report from them. Who? Amnesty no. International? No. Human no. Rights Watch? God. Only God. Okay, so we, <laughs> we need a report from God. Yes. No problem. Yes. I will give you a report from, from God. Yeah? I'll give you a report from your God. Conscience. First Samuel 15:3. In the Old Testament, it What's says, right and wrong? it says, is kill right? babies, wrong? kill infants, is it right? kill donkeys, the, kill cattle, the Romans kill all of them. Israel what does the, the Quran Jews? say? What does the Prophet say? In the Muatta of Imam Malik, don't kill women, don't kill yeah. children. And I can tell because, you, we get this from Imam Malik, we get this from Imam Malik. It he got it from Nafi, he got it from Abdullah bin Umar, and he got it from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This is a report, this is the Isnad, this is the chain of narration. Steal that land of the Jews. Sorry? It's still a crime that the Romans stole that land of the Jews. Forget the Romans, my friend. No, I don't forget the Romans. They're Before the most, that, one of the most important were the Canaanites. Yeah. Before that, we learned a lot from the Romans. You should try. Who was to... there before the Romans? The Greeks. According to Israeli research itself, by checking the gravestones, the palace, and the, the, and the Philistines, these two words and can be found in documentation and They're evidence. Three thousand to five thousand years what did they do to old they killed them but and israel israel didn't exist a hundred years ago goliath, yeah? show me on David the map killed show me israel on the map benjamin netanyahu is going to kill hamas 
But he's saying he, but his own army general saying we can't. Is he now? According you to gave TV Golan. He's saying we can't. He's saying communists. It's, you're listening to communist reporting on it. It's look. Benjamin Netanyahu's own military guy, his own military. He's not listening. Benjamin Netanyahu's own military guy is saying, ah, "We can't kill them all. Freedom of speech. We can't freedom kill them all. You want to we need more help. Speech. Help us!" And then Rishi Sunak, with his withering structure, yeah. with yes. his He's skinny a, bones, is giving more and globalist. more money. Keir Starmer wants to give more and more money. And He's your boyfriend, what's his name? The Pretty reform banker. leader, yes. Yes. <laughs> Nigel Farage. Yeah, even him. All of these guys are like, all hail our Zionist masters. No, no. But what is he saying? He's, doing He's what he criticizing holds. Mr. Wong over there. The thing about Nigel Farage, He's saying, poor old Mr. Wong over he there. Wants. He's the one that's controlling the LGBT. Yes. Mr. Wong is controlling they're the LGBT. There's intelligent. Chinese are intelligent, unlike you. Then what about these homosexuals that are walking amongst us? They're being controlled by the Chinese? Yeah, they don't know it, but yes. <laughs> they don't know they are be controlled by the Chinese. Of course they don't. How do you, how do you reason everything. with someone like this? That's what they're doing. They're infiltrating the universities, yeah? <laughs> and they're brainwashing everyone with this ideology, which is designed to destroy Western civilization. Most of what you said is correct, other than the fact that instead of Chinese, replace it with Zionists. Yeah, replace it with on. Zionists. The Pritzker family. Are they Chinese? The Soros family. No. Are they Chinese? They're, not they're two of the four top families that are supporting the they LGBT hate. phenomena. George they Charles are very pro-Israel. Confiscating Jewish property. Oh ho! Israel has he admitted he themselves. God. When he was a child, Israel he has God. admitted themselves. We help the injured Al Qaeda people because He's paying to open the because American for them border. it's a chessboard. Well. Israel has also admitting funding Hamas and helping them. You're just a tool Benjamin tool Netanyahu. Source. When he was sitting in the Likud, when he was sitting in the parliament yeah, with the parties, you know the he the admitted that, you know what, Hamas is good for us. Huh? If Hamas is so bad, why are they good for him? Why are they good for yeah. him? The because they need them. Hamas, you idiot. Huh? The Palestinian people hate Hamas. Okay, then, what's, then why are, do you want to kill all of the Palestinians as well then? You hypocrite. Because they should have done something about it. They should have done something about it. Who's they should have done something about it's it? too late for them now. Okay, then if somebody comes in here and blames you for the skeleton Rishi Sunak, they could have lived, what? They could have moved to Then you can move. Why Israel. are you blaming the Chinese communists like Mo, about, the, like Mossad. about the degradation of you the British the society of then? Why Mossad, are you blaming yeah? the Chinese? You know Mossad. Why are you blaming Mossad. the Chinese? Mossad works for I Mossad know that loser. Now. I know that pathetic that loser. loser. Pathetic loser. Yes, that pathetic loser. I'm not talking about you. He's a prophet. Or maybe, maybe I am, kind He's of. Prophet. He's a prophet. Yeah, Mossad. Oh, Mossad. What's his rest of his name? Mossab. Who cares? Yeah, it's like Islamic gibbering. Like no one cares. He's a Christian, by the way. Yes, because he was uh, born uh, uh, in uh, Hamas. He's born in Hamas. Oh, ho. Son of Ham his he's born in Hamas. Hamas. So you can get a British Airways tickets so and you can fly to Hamas. Make sure you check father. out the sites. Make sure you take pictures and make sure you go on Instagram and tag Hamas as you well. Have you been to Hamas as well? Do you know the reason why he left Islam? I because can smell was, alcohol from him. Because he was in jail. With Forget other, your boyfriend Mossab. Let's talk jail. about the Chinese. And he saw the way other can Muslims people blame you? Can people blame he you because China has infiltrated? No, he got he actually got shunted you by his father actually. <laughs> Mossab, Mossab actually got rejected by his own father. Mm. No, he rejected and then his father. and then you know what? He got angry, like an angry little boy. Because he went against his father. God. I'm gonna show my father, father by going God. against him. Now that I've dealt God. with that chapter. Can people blame you for the degradation my in hair in the UK? God. My biological father is not my father. Your biological father is your biological father's God? No, God is my father. Who's he's, your biological he's father? He's irrelevant. It's irrelevant. It doesn't really Do you even matter. know who he is? I know he is. He's still alive. <laughs> he's about to be 90 years old. Is he? Nah, that seems like a lie. But he's a liberal Democrat, so he's lost. Yeah? Is he retarded as well, like you said? Is he a retard Nazi, like you mentioned? Maybe when his one of his grandchildren get raped, then maybe he'll change his mind. That's. Is it? Wouldn't that be your son? No, I don't have a son. But one of my 
nieces, for example. You don't have a daughter or a son? No, I've got 13 nieces and nephews. Are you married? No. It's a death sentence now for a man to get married. <laughs> They'll take everything from you. You know what? They we, can turn around and say, oh, he We can start me, a series with this. They can take all your money. We can start a series with this. The court, yeah? The courts are <laughs> completely biased towards women. Well, then surely some the Chinese are blaming you as well then, isn't it? Yes, because the, they run everything. Yeah. The Chinese run everything. In you should be okay with that. Why aren't you getting rid okay of your leaders? Like you're blaming the Palestinians for Hamas, we should blame you for Rishi Sunak. Rishi Sunak, it's your fault then. Rishi Sunak, it's your fault then. Yeah, it's our fault for electing no, your fault. Boris Johnson. I didn't vote for Boris Johnson because I knew he was a liberal globalist. Where's democracy in it? No, you vote for somebody and yes. the other guy comes in. But then he was removed <laughs> having a slice of cake. That's democracy. Yeah, yeah, during COVID, when he was stopping Something other people from seeing mandate, their dying removed, mothers. Who removed him? We didn't, the people didn't remove him. Who, so Boris who Johnson? Him? Did you want Boris to stay? Well, he should stay because he got a massive majority. Then his own party vote him out? Yes, but it's not their place to, if the people voted for him, the people have given him the mandate. But somebody removed him. I agree with you, it's a mess. IMF. International Monetary <coughs> I agree with you. Bank of England. They're the ones who are governing us. When did we, Don't forget when the World Bank. We vote for the banks to govern us. We did it. And I'm with you but on that are. one. I'm with you on that one. Yeah, and you're, I'm with you on a lot of things. I'm with you on a lot why of things, actually. live in someone else's country that's going down the toilet? That doesn't make sense. I'm living in my own country. You don't want to be around in someone else's country when there's about to be a civil no. war. The sign of a person who has love with their country, even if it's going down, you want to stay, you want to protect it, yes. you want to help it. Not to leave. Like yeah, so I'm not going to leave like a coward. Yeah, but your it's my country. Did. No, my father passed away when I was one. Well, who came over here? Who brought you over here? Well, my father brought me over here. Well, actually, no. My oh. father came here, oh, and then I was born here, and then he passed then away. He died when you were one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you should have gone back then. Why? If I'm born here, why do I need to go back? Because you don't have any right. So if my father's country is there, how does that make that my country? Because all your ancestors are there. Yeah, I don't care about my ancestors. I care not? about where I am now. The people that my family here. But you don't have, you don't have well, any family. You don't here. know if I don't have a family here. You haven't asked me. Because you've only been here since you were one years old. Yeah. And <laughs> well, how long do you need to have a family? But it doesn't matter where you have a family. You can't change what you are. You're like, you're as bad as LGBT, you think a man can become a woman, a Pakistani can become English. Why are you blaming me? Why don't you blame the Chinese? Because apparently the because Chinese control us all. Ludicrous thinking. Well, the Chinese you control you as well. That thinking is controlled by the Chinese. You, are, you can't be... You can How do you know that's not controlled by the Chinese? What? How do you know this whole anti-migrant nature isn't controlled by the Chinese? No, they're loving it. No, they want you to be very anti-migrant, to sow discord in the country. <laughs> Yeah, that's because they didn't have a 1948 because, British Nationality Act. Because they don't. They didn't have anything similar to that. They don't care about being called racist. Mm, yes, they do. No, they don't. Yeah, everybody does. They took the in the Star Wars film like the, there was a black guy who was like the main character. Can we talk about reality and not movies? He was a tiny little guy on the poster. Can we? They, if you I don't care about movies. Chinese I care about reality. About Africans, it would, you would be shocked. Yeah, I mean, what about what the British think of Africans, like the Kikui no, tribe? I think they're all God's children, so. To be, to say God's got a lot of children then, isn't it? All God's children. So to be racist is to... Chinese black, are the God's children as well then, isn't it? God. Chinese are the God's children yes. as well then, isn't it? Communist is not. Though. Communism... Is the devil. They're not God's children. No, they, they're working for the devil. But are they God's children though? Yes, they're still God's children. Like there you this. go. So the God's children are working for the devil. Yeah, they still love him. That's the theology God you're dealing with. Him, like he loved Lucifer. God's children are working for the devil. Yes, because he loved Lucifer, right? His favourite. Became the devil. We don't believe that. We believe a devil is a devil and an angel is an angel. Simple as that. Devils don't become angels, angels, angels don't become devil. We don't believe that angels can't fall. They're angels. Well, he did. Well, that's so, the problem. It's a flawed. But you Look, you're half your, a Muslim anyway. You based your religion why, on don't you, why don't you so, accept Islam and just be, you know, just sort your life out, mate? It's so inferior, it's so bad. Now, I've already proven to you I've that it's not. You've been impressed. It's a pale imitation of no, you need Islam. The Jewish Bible. Look. Islam is the only one telling you no to LGBT. It's telling you no to adultery. It's telling you no yes, to slinging your parents in the old people's homes. No, they didn't. You. No, they didn't. And the Zoroastrians before them. Not necessarily. Look, Muslims are coming here actively on the streets protesting. 
No to LGBT. Actively yes. protesting. Yes, we no to gambling. That, yes. But it's no not your to alcoholism. Place to protest. It is you protest in your own country about? Well, that. this is my country. But That's the problem. The, no, We're not. just going round in a circle. Country. Look, you gave me you the analogy. Like you it. gave me the analogy. If I go to Pakistan, like if I was born in Pakistan, like would I be a Pakistani? I said yes. Uh, well, uh, that's what you're saying. Yes, according to this criteria, if you're born.